G'day and welcome. Uh, another player report card. We're up to Zach Williams. Um, age 28. Well, he'll be turning 28 in two weeks' time. So he's in that age bracket um, that we've spoken about quite often um, throughout season 2000, 2022 at Carlton that we have a, a void of players between 28 and 32. So we probably see that now as a, as a positive. Um, you know, he's got a lot of experience under his belt at the level, although it's been injury interrupted, particularly the last couple of years. Um, but he appears settled. Uh, personally, he appears settled, got a young family, and, and he appears quite happy at the football club. Um, career games now across 10 seasons in the AFL, 136 games. Um, you know, a large chunk of those, obviously, with the Giants. This year, only played the nine games, so he's played 23 with us over two seasons. His games span across those 10 years. Uh, started off with 11, second year, 8, 12, 22, 23, 2. His seventh season with the Giants was his best. He played 24 games, including a grand final loss. Um, and then the injuries started to come. Um, only 11 in his final year with the Giants and 14 and 9 with us over the last couple of years. Brought to the club as a midfielder. That was the plan. Um, he was going to play inside mid after that terrific prelim final um, against the Pies. Started off that way um, with his first, say, three or four games with us. Was played in the guts, but then the injuries came and he, uh, he was a little bit out of out of shape in his early days with us and has been put back in defence. And you would say he's, he's more of a, a run and gun type defender, although he can defend. Uh, we've seen that particularly this year in the games that he did play. It's a, it's a big contract. Um, six year contract. He's now finished his second season. So he'll come out of the contract at the end of 226. And you would probably think uh, you know, that would take him to 32 years of age. And uh, given his injury concerns and his durability, uh, that may see out his years at Carlton. Uh, I can pick up for the Giants in 2013 in the rookie draft, pick 54. And we know that we picked him up as a restricted free agent um, at the end of 2020. He sees a snapshot. Um, start off, okay played the first six games and then was a laid out against North Melbourne for the round seven clash with that Achilles tightness. Um, did we bring him back too early? Played the following week um, against Adelaide, made the trip to uh, Giant Stadium and was injured really early. It looked like he actually ruptured that Achilles in that game. Uh, the prognosis wasn't great. Um, 10 to 12 weeks, they said, and that's exactly what he missed. He missed exactly 12 games and returned for the last game of the year against the Pies in round 23. Um, statistically, not too bad. Um, averages the 19.6 disposals a game, which is above average. Metres gained pretty good, 404 metres above average. Uh, above average for rebound 50s, as you would expect for a player of his type, 5.3. One-on-one's pretty good as well. Um, which is above average, spoils above average as well. Um, contested possessions above average, 33% of his uh, possessions are, are, are contested. Disposal efficiency, just average, 77.8%. And an area which is below average is kicking efficiency running at 73.5%. Not a great kick of the football. Um, tackles, 1.2, which is a below average. And pressure acts is below average as well, 8.7. He's elite in running bounces, 2.3. Um, I reckon his, uh, his best games obviously came early in the season when he had a bit of continuity. I thought he was excellent in that uh, second game of the year against the Western Bulldogs where he took 10 marks, which was a career high for him in the 27 disposals. And he was outstanding in that loss against, uh, against the Gold Coast Suns where he picked up a career high at 36 disposals and at five tackles. Thought he was really quiet in the round one clash against Richmond um, with just 11 touches. That was probably his worst performance. He only played the nine games. Um, and I think, I think the last game in round 23 against Collingwood um, in that third quarter, he was the one, one of the ones, particularly across halfback, who, who really got us going. 
um, and, and, and you showed a little bit of hardness and a little bit of uh, skill as well to get us back into that game. Strengths, um, no doubt he's got some speed. Uh, he covers the ground really well uh, when he's fit. He, he's, you know, he's definitely got some explosive traits. Uh, his contest, contesting is really good as well. Um, I mean, he's pretty tough, um, pretty hard at it, and his running carry is excellent. Um, you know, when he's got when he's got his confidence up, and I think he's quite adaptable as well as a defender. You know, he can play one on one. Um, he can he can lock down at times as well. And I think his defensive game really improved this season. So he's able to to adapt both on the outside and on the inside uh, with his contest contest work. No doubt his weaknesses are his durability, um, just his body. You know, just continually breaks down and. You know, you'd just love to see him get a really sort of good look at it. Um, but there, have to, there has to be question marks, you know, on his body moving forward. Disposal, particularly his kicking is not great. Um, it's an area which I thought was was a lot stronger than it has been. Um, whether that's got to do with confidence, whether that's got to do with his body, whether that's got to do with continuity. Um, you know, he's not a great kick of the football. I mean, he's not a bad kick, um, but when you're streaming from half back and setting up the play, um, you would like those types of players to be hitting targets more than what he did. Um, and I just think, I just think value for money so far. You know, it, you know, bang for buck. You know, big contract, big money. Um, I think the outlay so far has been probably you know below average. Um, and you look at someone like a Jordan Boyd, you know, who I think could be probably just as effective playing a similar type of role, um, you know, lockdown, but also pro providing plenty of run. And I think someone like Jordan Boyd, um, you know, probably uses the ball. Well, in fact, I think he does use the ball probably better than someone like Zach Williams. So that's going to be interesting uh, moving forward. You know, do we sign someone like Jordan Boyd to another contract? And that puts a lot of pressure on the likes of, of Zach Williams, which, which is rage raises plenty of questions about, you know, you know, I know it's a big contract, um, but what what will his long term future at the football club look like, particularly if they feel Jordan Boyd is in front of him? Um, but for me, you know, shortened season is just purely frustrating. Um, you know, twenty three games out of a possible forty four since he's arrived at the football club, and when we are crying out for stability in our back six and seven. Um, you know, I think it's just disappointing, you know, when he's continually sort of going out of the team, you know, with, with soft tissue concerns, you know, we just haven't been able to get that, you know, get that part of the ground sort of locked in. And, and, and he should be a big part of that, but he hasn't been. Um, and I think, I think the length of the contract as well, you know, six years is a long time. Um, you know, it's, it's right at a precarious sort of, sort of situation at the moment, you know, body concerns, um, you know, some players knocking on the door at VFL level would probably play the same position as well. So it's going to be interesting to see whether he can get a really strong preseason under his belt um, and get on the park. It's as simple as that. Rating, um, I reckon he was pretty good in the games he played. You know, I don't think he had many poor performances. I know he's kicking efficiency and I think that brings his rating down a fraction of giving him a six out of 10. Um, you know, it's, I have no idea if it's his fault that he's injured, you know, I think he's prepared himself. I mean, he admitted that his preparation when he arrived at the football club wasn't great. Um, but all the reports were that he's had a massive preseason and got his body right. So, you know, you can't help injuries. Um, and I think for the most part, when he did play, you know, he showed in round 23 against the Pies that he is a, he's a, a pretty important part of our defence. Um, no, I think a six out of 10 is a fair result um, or a fair mark for Zach Williams. Tell me what you think about uh, Zach Williams. Do you think he's a long-term prospect for the football club? Um, where does he need to improve and what rating have you given him? Speak soon.